All right, so this question is, how many different possible outcomes are there when two six-sided dice are rolled? So um, die A is going to be one of our dice, and um, die B will be the other dice. So they each have six sides. Um, and let's say that if we were to roll die A and die B, the outcome we get for die A will put in the first common list here in our coordinate, and die B we will put second. All right, so our first option is that we could roll a one on the first die and a one on the second. So that possibility would look like one comma one, meaning that you roll a one for die A and a one for die B. Well, we could keep going on with this list. So we could also roll a one for die A and a two for die B. And I can keep going on all the way until my second number is six. So we could get one and three, one and four, one and five, or finally one and six. So this is the option where um, die A is one and die B is one through six. That's what we get here. Now we can keep going on. So now let's continue the pattern for various die A values. So now instead of starting with one for our die A, let's now do two. So we'll get two comma one, two comma two, and so on. So now the only thing I'm changing here is the first number is two, but then the second number is going to be progressing all the way up to six. And we'll get three comma one, three comma two, Once you see this um, pattern, you won't necessarily have to write it out for every single problem, but this will just be the full-on explanation just so that we can see why we get the total options that we will. All right, so now if we were to see, if I move this to the side, um, I can kind of put everything together in one row. So here now we can just kind of see that we have um, six columns and six rows. or six rows and six columns. So now we can see that we have six times six options, which is 36 outcomes.